Hey everyone, this is Mustafa again. I'm here with Dr. Romano. He's gonna do an deals order reaction for you guys. Go ahead, Doc. Hi, what I wanna do is show you a deals order reaction. A deals order reaction is a reaction that is very commonly seen in organic chemistry and certainly gonna be on the dad. It's a way we use to build six-membered rings. So if you took a look on the blackboard, we're gonna have two components to a deals order. We're gonna have what's called a conjugated diene and the molecule reacting with the conjugated diene is called the dienophile. Now, this reaction is highly stereospecific, and this will be borne out in a few minutes. Notice that the dienophile prefers to have electron withdrawing groups to accelerate the reaction, and therefore we got two good electron withdrawing groups. Now, what we do in a deals all the reaction is we're going to need to draw three arrows. So I want you to look at the arrows. This is called the concerted mechanism. It means it occurs in one single step. So these electrons move here, this goes here, and this goes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the carbons so no one gets lost. Notice in a deals all the reaction, four carbons will come, in this reaction at least, four carbons will come from the conjugated diene, and two carbons come from the dienophile. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. We've got to be a little careful of the stereochemistry here. As you can see, this double bond, this bond goes up and this bond goes down. The same thing if you look at this double bond, one bond goes up and this bond goes down. So that means that the two methyl groups are going to have the same configuration. So what I do is I make my six-membered ring. I'll call this the A, B, C, D, notice D got hooked up to E, and then E here is such, I put F. The two methyl groups are in the same direction, so I can either use dashes or wedges. I'm going to use a wedge to show you that they're pointing in the same direction. And likewise, these two groups are pointing in the same direction, so i got to show this proper stereochemistry here. So if these are wedges, I'm going to make these dashes in the same direction just so they're not going to be sterically hindered each other. So once I get this, this is my deals alder adduct or the deals alder product. But you just want to take a good look at when I built the six-membered ring, how you understand four carbons of it was from the conjugated diene and the other two carbons was from the dienophile. Once I do that, I'm going to do a simple reduction. And what I do in the reduction, lithium aluminum hydride doesn't touch carbon to carbon bonds, but it's certainly going to reduce the nitrile down, keeping the stereochemistry since I'm not breaking any bonds on the carbon. I'm going to reduce the nitrile into the CH2, NH2 group, and that would be the final product. Number two, I don't think you're probably going to see this on the DAT. This is a little tricky, but I want to just go over it with you. Well, anyway, this is known as a reverse deals alder, or in organic chemistry parlance, a retro deals alder. Now, what we want to do when we look at this molecule, I drew the arrows for you. Um, anytime we heat something up, many times we look for a gas. That gas can be like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sometimes the gas can be acetylene, it could be SO2, etc. So as you can see, I can almost see the CO2 gas right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the reaction in reverse. Once again, the three famous deals all the reactions, I'm gonna, or arrows I should say, I'm going to move one arrow here, one arrow here, and one arrow there. By doing that, that knocks off the CO2, now watch the numbers. There's my A, B, C, D, E, F. Once Cl2 is off, I then put the double bond between A and B. Notice I labeled it for you. Then B to C lost the double bond, and the double bond moved from C to D. And then there's my E to F. I hope I've convinced you that this is the same as this minus the Cl2. And if you want to just make it look pretty at the end, all I would simply do is I would have this. I would just make this into a nicer six-membered ring and keep all the substituents as shown. And that would be the final product. So we did one deals alder, which I would anticipate on the deck. But for the guys that are going for the 30, 
as unlikely as it is, and maybe I'm just being silly, I would make sure that you're covered on a retro deals older. All right, I hope that gives you a good idea. I have a few more questions in the Death Destroyer on the deals older that I think you'll enjoy. All right, that wraps this video up. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, bye-bye, guys.